Hi, and welcome to this episode of the Insurance Experts. It's my pleasure to have on the line Frank Manger. Uh, Frank, I know from LinkedIn, he's very prolific on there. He does a lot of videos, but he's an employer benefit technology expert. And I wanted him to share with us today some of the things he does in his business. So thanks for joining us, Frank. Thanks for having me on. I'm really excited for this. I appreciate it. So I know you don't talk a lot about the business on LinkedIn, and I want to hear more about it, though, the man behind the LinkedIn guy. Uh, tell me a little bit about how you got into that space. Um, so, so yeah, I don't, uh, LinkedIn I use for, you know, more relationship building, uh, but I got into the, the technology space back in, uh, 2011, tail into 2011 when, uh, private exchanges, uh, were starting to be a topic and that was, uh, Obamacare was coming down, uh, public exchanges were a huge topic. Insurance brokers is all across the U S were thinking the sky was falling and they were going to lose their, their business to, to public exchanges. So I went into the private exchange space. And, um, and it made an investment there uh, because I knew there was a lot of brokers out there who didn't want to invest in the technology, the people and the resources and just didn't really understand the, the technology approach when it came to private exchange. And, and that's that was back in 2012. I started EBM and mm -hmm. um, and that was uh, that was I, I switched over. I, originally, I was uh, my background's technology. I got a degree in computer science. I owned a, a tech firm for many years that I sold. And, um, and, uh, so before that, you know, I, I understood technology, just didn't, just didn't know insurance all that well. So it's been fun and exciting to, to be involved in this world. Yeah, that's awesome. And then I know that you were kind of the early days of the exchanges and then fast forward to today, you kind of had some foresight. How is your business looking today? Awesome. Yeah. So we've been very lucky to continuously grow year over year. Um, I, I say it's, you know, my job and of course any entrepreneur out there sorts of business, it's your job to kind of see around corners, see things that other people don't, other people don't see. And I saw that private exchanges were not adopting that the way that the market uh, had hoped it would. Um, there was a lot of stakeholders that invested a lot of money into private exchanges um, and they wanted them to work. Uh, but I knew quickly that the adoption rate was not going the way that everyone had expected. So I made a pivot. Uh, there were some great things about private exchanges. There was decision support. There was uh, the ways for different funding mechanisms and multiple plan uh, options. So I just made a, a pivot to say, for, forget the private exchange. Uh, we can do some private exchange-ish type things. But let's just go with benefits technology that can do all the things that a private exchange can do and not limit the employer to only being able to work with certain carriers or certain plans. Um, so cool. I did that and, uh, and, and uh, it was a great move. We did it early enough and, um, and, and, and got, uh, got some traction really quick. So what would you say is kind of the number one thing that you do for clients in terms of benefit technology? Is it the platform itself or is it other types of engagement with the employees? Now, the number, thing, number one thing we do is put time back into HR professionals' days. So we're, we're automating a lot of tasks that they do manually, and, and through that, we're, we're able to put time back into their day. Most HR professionals are limited in their resources, so they're a, a team of one or two working with thousands of employees in multiple states and departments and divisions and locations. Uh, and being able to automate a lot of the tasks that they're doing manually is really it, it, you can't buy time. Um, so being able to automate those tasks is a huge help for the end user, which is the HR person. Uh, but the brokers that we work with, uh, that's our, our partners, our, our brokers that uh, provide this to their clients who are the HR professionals, they're, they're winning because we're using this as a way for them to win business uh, and attract new, new clients to, to their block of business. That's very cool. So it's almost like you have a B to B to C model, right? The brokers are your clients and you're helping them be, be heroes and successful with the consumer. Yes, exactly. Okay. And now what would you say is the biggest differentiator between you and let's say the big boys in the industry of benefits technology, you know, what, what separates you from them? Uh, I mean, the big thing is, is that uh, most of these big firms, a, they got one solution that they can, they can provide to an end user. Um, and it's take it or leave it. Uh, they may be able to do, there's, you think of an HR person, they go into wanting technology, they have their must-haves list, maybe some nice-to-haves, and sometimes you go into uh, this one of these vendors that we compete with, and they have to settle. It's like, okay, great, you can check some of the boxes for me, but not all of them, and it's either I, I deal with it and, and still have to do some manual work or limit what we can provide to the employees, or you go and look for something different. 
Our model is a little different because we have multiple technology solutions that we can provide to an organization based on group size, based on where they're at today, where they expect to be in 12 months, you know, 18, 36 months down the road, and different carriers and vendors they work with and how we integrate. So we have more options for them instead of kind of, kind of stuff them into a, a box and, and force them to use a solution just because right. it's, all, it's the only option they have. Right. And I think that really appeals to me within the insurance world because you see a lot of times... Uh, the broker will use one particular product because of ease of use, right? And, and making it simple for enrollment. When you have the option of flexibility around the technology, now you can bring in multiple solutions that are customized to whatever the employee's specific needs are. And I think it's great that you're providing almost a platform to make that happen. Um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about a client, you know, you help. We won't name the clients, but just to give us an idea of what this looks like, can you tell us a little bit about the type of company that worked with you and how you're able to transform you know, their existing platform into using your new technology? Yeah, so we have a, a, a very large brand name. They're a global organization, uh, but um, we helped, we, we were approached by their big brand name broker. Uh, they, we identified their issues. Their issues were they were using a lot of paper-based processes. They had hundreds and hundreds of locations here in the U.S. where they would literally fly someone to a location, a centralized location, and then drive around to all these different areas to complete enrollments. And it was a very manual process. Uh, it, it was very expensive and it took them probably four to six weeks to complete open enrollment on average. Uh, so we went in, we put in uh, the technology in place to not only help automate new hires and open enrollment, but also life event changes as well at the location level. So they went in, Every location, no one needed to fly out anymore. They had uh, they support if they needed it, but everyone was through the employee self service portal, would able to enroll in their benefits based on department, division, location, and all these things. So there was no more limitations, and we 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 turned the six week manual process into a fourteen day automated process um, for all their employees, uh, all the U S based employees. So it's a huge time saver uh, and money savings for for the client. That's awesome. And talk about seeing around corners. You probably didn't anticipate the environment we're in today where everyone's going remote, you know, with the coronavirus. But of course, now it's an imperative to have people be able to do this remote because you can't physically fly to those locations anymore. Yeah. And the, and the scramble is on, actually, because we have we have our own client base that's preparing for open enrollments right now. I mean, people are renewing mm -hmm. four one, five one, they're getting ready. And if they don't have a solution in place, they now they're scrambling because how you, you have to mail applications to employees, or you have to communicate things through them through email, and it's a very manual and, and labor-intensive project. If you have a technology solution in place, it's fine. Everyone can enroll on a smartphone, laptop, desktop, and, and they can get that enrollment done, get that data over to the carriers with really no interruption. So the the investment in technology is is needed now more than ever and i think folks are really realizing that they should have probably pulled the trigger you know when they thought they when they first talked about it maybe months ago cool well i appreciate being on the show today thanks for sharing with us both your expertise and also your story and hope to have you on future episodes i appreciate it man. thanks for having me and i look forward to it all right see you on linkedin yeah <laughs>